and welcome to my channel. If you're new, my name is Kristen and today I'm doing 10 fall Dollar Tree DIYs. I try to make these as easy as possible so you can follow along easy, recreate them yourselves if you choose to. I'm just really excited to share these with you. So let's just jump right into 10 brand new fall DIYs. First DIY, I'll be making a wreath, of course, with this Harvest Blessing sign from Dollar Tree and Nautical Rope from Dollar Tree as well. So this is like a really nice, soft, white rope if you guys have not been able to find it yet. And it is 11 feet long. You're gonna need four of these to cover this wreath along with two of the nine and a half foot nautical rope that is in the brown color. I guess they're both called nautical rope, but they are like a completely different texture to them. Um, so I wanted to do two layers or two rows, whatever you want to call it. I want to do two bundles of the white rope went all the way around. I didn't show this 100% because I'm just wrapping rope around. I'm not gluing until the very end and to the top. And then you're able to push everything down um, if there's like a gap. It doesn't really matter. Um, you just kind of want to make sure that you wrap it really tight. And then I do glue. And then there was red on this one, which I don't know why I did end up Think, I think I covered it. Pretty sure I tried to cover it. Um, and then just going on the other side, doing the same thing with the brown nautical rope. And then what is left over, I am going to be using the white rope. So like I said, you're going to need six bundles, this wreath form, the harvest blessing sign, or whatever sign that you choose. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be the exact one. Um, like I said, and then I'm just wrapping it all around. Easy. This is just easy. And once the rope is done, I'm just taking some more hot glue and just gluing the sides of the sign right to the rope. This stays on just fine. I've actually had this on my front porch for a little while now and the wind is not stopping it from falling apart. And then I'm just using foam, some, from floral, some floral from Dollar Tree, putting it on here. I think this is a status is what it's called or status. I'm not sure. It doesn't really matter what it's called. Um, but that is what the name said. I found these at Walmart. I thought this would be cute in the center. So I'm just adding some Walmart pumpkins. I know that Dollar Tree also has pumpkins if you can't find them at Walmart. But if you can't find your pumpkins at the Dollar Tree, I feel like Walmart has so many. And I don't think people think to go and get crafts there. I just use a pumpkin, two pine cones in the packages, and that is it for this wreath. All right, and since I already had the rope theme going, I was gonna make a pumpkin out of this little jar and then I saw people already make it. So I was like, well, I'm not gonna do that, I guess. So um, I just decided to just wrap rope around it and stick some florals in here from the Dollar Tree. This was easy. This could be used year round. You don't have to use it for fall, but I just really like the way it looks. And it is just very, very clean. And I think that's why I like this white rope look. I probably should have bought 200 bundles more, uh, but I only bought 10.
All right, so the third one is these fall house signs. So everyone is like dying to get these from the Dollar Tree. And once you have them, I promise you, your ideas will run dry. And I say that because I picked up probably 10 of these. I think, I don't remember how many. I picked up a lot. And then I also had one left over from last year. I actually just reused it from last year. But um, I'm just going to pull the backings off, use some scrapbook paper from Hobby Lobby, four for a dollar, 49 cents piece. I don't know, something so silly. Using a glue stick, and I'm just putting it on the back sides. And I'm just going to glue the backs or glue these right back on. If there's paper on the backs, it doesn't matter because you're going to be covering it anyways. The scrapbook paper and glue stick works really great so don't waste your money on Mod Podge unless you already have something go ahead and use that but I just find this is so much easier and then I am just hot gluing the backs of the houses and then I'm gonna put the back to the back of the house if <laughs> that makes sense um yeah this was just this was a really fast and easy DIY to do um, especially for these and then you just let those dry for a little while these leaves came from my friend Shyla from Hobnobbin. She has a couple Etsy shops. I will leave links in the description box below for you. And I also have a coupon code if you want to check her out. She does amazing work, super fast shipping. I love her items. And I also did a whole video on a lot of really fun. She has like rolling pins, like small ones for your three-tier tray. She has just all kinds of really cute wooden stuff. Links in the description box. I definitely recommend to check her out. I just use the Waverly Wax and Antique to paint these little leaves. And if you can't find the leaves at the Dollar Tree, there you go. And these, I think, are better quality. They don't have the holes in them, and they're a little bit thicker. So I really like the way that these look because they don't have the holes. I'm just gluing all the houses together, and then once that was done, I just went in with my silhouette and then just printed off or cut out these letters that say fall on them. If you don't have a silhouette, you don't have a Cricut, use a stencil, freehand it. There's no way I could ever freehand because my freehanding is terrible. So I just went in with this, it says fall. I love this. I actually stuck this right in the middle of my hutch because I think it is so pretty. If you guys are looking for a home fall tour, I will hopefully have that up in the next week or two. Um, just because I feel like I can never keep my house 100% clean. So crazy. I might just end up doing a tour with dolls all over the floor. It does. I don't really think it, anybody cares. Um, but yeah, that's it for that. I love this one. This next one is a pumpkin crate. I'm using this crate I had for years <laughs> and uh, this sign is from Dollar Tree, believe it or not. It's super cute. I love it. I love the way it looks. If you put it on like a steak or something would be super cute as well. But I just wanted the top piece and then I'm just going to take my crate. I did sand this down to give it a more distressed look. I like this way just a little bit better. Plus the painting wasn't perfect by all means. So I thought that this would be a super cute way to kind of um, spice it up or liven it up. Make it look a little better. Better? Look better? It looks better, right? <laughs> I don't know. Um, this sign, I'm just going to hot glue it right here and then add some florals. I am going to be using a ton of florals I picked up at a garage sale. Five bucks for a garbage bag and they had tons of fall, Christmas, like it was insane. So I will be using a lot of those. If you don't, you can pick some up at Dollar General, Hobby Lobby, Dollar Tree, but I will be using a lot from a yard sale. Okay, this one is a scarecrow wreath, but it's not what you think it's going to be. I'm using some burlap from Burlap Fabric. This is in the sage color. I think this is really pretty. I love it. And then, okay, so I love doing wreaths. And then I almost just had like a moment where I didn't know how to make a wreath because this one is like way backwards than how I normally make them. I like taking burlap and wrapping it all around just because it covers the wreath form, which is not a very gorgeous sight. So I just like using burlap, gluing it, and you can always cut it and then reuse the burlap, except in the glue spots. I don't, anyways, Walmart for these Harvest Pumpkins, Mini Mums, Dollar Tree, Cotton, Dollar Tree. And I'm just gluing these together. This is just, it's such an awkward... I was editing and this is like such an awkward look for me because normally I add some greenery, I add some flowers and I don't just do this. And then when I was doing this, I was like, wow, what did I do here? Like 
I'm still in like shock how I made this wreath. Anyways, I did it way backwards. Definitely add the flowers first so you can hide the stems because I'm just pulling stuff off to re-add it if you can see already. But anyways, this is cute. I like the way that this little wreath turned out. And it's not just a wreath. It's going to be a sign. So super cute idea I had. I picked up these little scarecrows. I picked up the boy and the girl. This one's the little girl. And I thought that I would just take the wreath and glue it like she is holding onto it. And how cute, right? Like, they're already cute the way they are. And I didn't just want to buy them to, like, paint over the back side of them. Because Dollar Tree does have some really cute stuff. And I kind of like a lot of the signs this year just the way they are. I know that I have tendencies of, like, taking everything and, like, painting it or throwing scrapbook paper on it. But I wanted to leave a lot of Dollar Tree stuff because these are just easier ways to recreate. Uh, this little crate came from Dollar Tree too. I just threw a bunch of rocks in the back and this is holding up really well on my front porch. Look how stinking cute this is. I love this one. I have, I don't know, I'm not like a, I don't love scarecrows, but this one is just cute. While we are in the scarecrow signs, I thought that I would do the little boy as well, or the boy scarecrow, I don't know, the blue scarecrow, I guess, whatever, along with this little pumpkin. I ripped the bottom off this pumpkin, and I am just going to glue it like he is holding a pumpkin. This was actually my daughter Scarlett's idea, because I didn't want to make another wreath, and she thought that adding this pumpkin would be cute, but you can see the bottom where it was torn off, so I thought adding some raffia, or like some of this straw or hay Easter grass um, to the bottom would be super super cute so that is what I did just to make it a little bit different than the other one um, instead of leaving them the same like I said these are super cute but like just upgrading a tiny bit like makes it so much cuter and then I just thought I would add some more up here by his hat and that is all I did with this one and I kind of just have it resting on a chair on my front porch because it does say welcome but how sinking cute is he? Like, these are adorable. Like I said, they are super cute the way they are. But just, like, upgrading them just a little bit just make them so much cuter. Number seven is this truck sign. I'll be using two of these Hello Autumn signs. Rulers, these were three three packages of them so there's six total in this farm fresh pumpkin sign I'm just going to be actually using the top of this and then I did save the rest for a future DIY project if I ever do it or come up with something um, anyways I'm going to use foam board for this as well and I'm just taking the rulers and gluing all six of them down to have the back of the sign so I'm using foam board which you really don't have to I just thought this was way easier to make a sign with then trying to glue all the rulers together and then throwing popsicle sticks on the back. You could definitely do that. It's such an easy way to do all this. Uh, I guess I was just making it a little bit harder on myself. <laughs> Once that was done, I tore these Hello Autumn signs apart. I usually use like a cutting knife or something like that, but I realized if you just fold them inside the f inside, okay, so you push them and then push them down and they just break right off perfectly 100% perfect like you don't even need to do anything else so I kind of measured I balled it out because I'm going to be using this as a border I've done this in a recent DIY I think I actually did one last year as well so it's kind of where my ideas come up with I never know what to do with these besides make like a little pedestal but I know so many people have done that so I just like to use these as borders spend your money wisely I guess because I don't know if that was really necessary to spend two bucks on making a border, but I thought it was cute. Okay, so here is where I ran into issues because I was thinking not too far ahead of this project. So I glue the sign to the middle of the rulers, and that's cute, right? But we have an issue. So this is the back of my sign looks like. It's not the cutest. I don't have a border around the bottom, and I don't have enough room to put a border on. So I took the edges of the foam board once I destroyed the foam board and then I just glued borders around. Does that make sense here? Okay, stay with me. Stay with me. I'm making a border all around and then I realize that I don't have enough 
I don't have enough. Like, look at right here. It looks like a mess. So adding some extras to the corners to cover up my flaws. You definitely could have measured this out sooner, did it an easier way than me, glued everything to the foam board, but I did want to cover the holes in the ruler. So okay, my sense, this is inspiration. Maybe I don't make sense here. Um, I feel like I'm really losing myself on explaining it, but pretty much I didn't have enough room. So maybe if I would have eight rulers, it would have worked better. So maybe buy eight rulers and then you can glue and everything will be like the same height and it would work better. But I like adding like the greenery and the pumpkins. Those are all from Dollar Tree. The greenery is from my garage sale uh, bag. But other than that, the pumpkins are from Dollar Tree. I actually really love this sign. Even though I know the backing is not the prettiest and the corners are messed up, you can't even tell. Okay, I had a way better idea for this one, but then the idea came up even better than I hoped for. So I'm going to do a yarn pumpkin with the foam pumpkin. I started painting it with this moss color, changed my mind. I got this yarn from the Dollar Tree, believe it or not, Dollar Tree. And then I am going to just wrap it up and down along the pumpkin. So I'm not going to wrap it around, I'm just going to go back and forth, like up and down with the pumpkin. I didn't cut the yarn because I knew if I did, like we were going to have 200 issues. So I'm, like I said, I'm just going up and down, gluing it, and then just going back and forth to make it actually look like the the width of a pumpkin or the way a pumpkin works or looks or that's all I did for this one. This one was super easy. I did um, use a wood stem like what you get from the Dollar Tree. You can go outside and get a stick if you don't have the little wood stems. But I thought this was really cool because the yarn is all different colors. It's all attached to each other. So I thought that was a really neat like effect on the pumpkin. This one was like it worked better than I hoped for. <laughs> This one I'm using a wooden sign. These leaves Shyla also sent me over at Hobnobbin and these are Teza acrylic markers. And I'm just going to be painting these leaves orange and yellow. I did start doing the smaller leaves and I changed my mind on what I wanted to do with those. But I'm just using these ones. These are really cool looking. They are like a medium size but really really thick. Using the Waverly Wax Antique, I am just painting this sign and then I'm just going over it with a paper towel um, just to give it the stained look. I didn't want it as dark as what the antique wax normally gives. And then I'm just going over the leaves as well so it all kind of matches. So here is kind of funny because I wasn't sure where I was going with this route and I almost think, this is kind of sounds funny, but I almost think that like a, a kid could do something like this. And you could put their fall picture in here. This would be a super cute idea. I just used a free printable off Pinterest. I'll leave that link for you. This is super, super cute. And I actually really like this one a lot. This one, you'll need three of these signs. And you want to cut them in half. And then two of these signs say Happy Harvest from Dollar Tree. And then I'm using this crimson red color by Arteza. So right now I'm just going to be painting the little signs after they were cut in half with this crimson red. I definitely recommend to get four of these signs and cut them in half so you will have a perfect square when you glue them all together. So I just had three-fourths of a square. Um, I am just going to glue these together so I can make my little box. And I'm just going to glue one row down and then the other one right on the top.
And then next I am just going to be hot gluing these signs to the edges of the box. So here's where I said that you should get four signs because the one side had a really good like bottom to it like this one right here you can see a little bit of the red the other one is just kind of empty and you can see right inside of the box or the basket whatever you'd like to call this um, and then I'm just using foam board for the bottom and just kind of making um, a square so I'm able to put florals on and like I said all these florals came from a garage sale so they are all different but you can definitely get florals from any place anywhere whatever is inexpensive to you and these pumpkins I threw in there are just from Walmart from recently really um but yeah you guys that's it for 10 Dollar Tree DIYs I hope you enjoyed them if you did please make sure you give this video a thumbs up and if you are new to my channel I would love if you consider subscribing and sticking around so you guys don't miss out on any more of my DIY videos but that's it I'll see you in the next video bye but I get out